Hi, Bandana Grandma here, and I'm about to go harvest some lemons that I grew. It's January in Maryland. How is that possible? So it's the first week in January. I've still got my Christmas decorations up, <clears throat> but right here inside my front door, I have a little growing area. Uh, it's actually on top of my canning cabinet. If you've seen me put my jars away in my canning cabinet, that's under these plants right here. But among these plants, I have a Meyer lemon. One of my daughters gave it to me as a Christmas gift last year, and I have two lemons ready to be harvested. And here they are. Two lemons that Bandana Grandma grew in Maryland and harvested in January. I think that's fun. You may ask, what is she going to do with her homegrown lemon? Well, I'm going to put it in my iced tea. And as long as I'm going to be making up some iced tea, I thought I'd show you how I make mine. Every two or three days, I mix up a whole gallon of iced tea. Because that's all we drink here besides coffee and plain water usually is iced tea <clears throat> and we go through it fast um, first thing you're going to want to get is a strong tea bag uh, this is what I use now it's decaf because I have a heart thing and I'm not supposed to be drinking a lot of caffeine but you can use whatever kind of tea you want but I use this this is Yorkshire tea and Mel from the cockeye cottage turned me on to Yorkshire tea I order it five boxes at a time from uh, Amazon it makes up really good for iced tea because it is a stronger tea bag and it also makes great hot tea as well so come on with me and i'll show you the science i've gotten it down to to mix up my yankee tea not southern sweet tea but we'll call it my yankee tea okay to start my iced tea i have four cups of water in a pyrex container um, I'm going to use a microwave. If you have an aversion to using microwaves, just do it on top of the stove. That's fine. But I'm adding five tea bags. Now these are extra size tea bags. So if you're using the standard size tea bags, you might want to use eight or ten of them. So I just put those in there. And I also put in a quarter cup of sugar. Add as much or as little sugar as you like. For a whole gallon, I'm thinking, because this is going to end up making a gallon. This is just the concentrate I start with. So for a whole gallon, a quarter cup isn't that much. So I'm considering I'm being good doing that. So into the microwave, I'm putting it. And I put it on six minutes. Well, there's the beeper. So the six minutes are up. Take out my tea. Now I like to let it cool just a little bit, so I'm going to let it sit here like two more minutes. So it also gives it a little more time to steep. So we'll come back in a couple. Okay, it gave us a few minutes to cool down. I'll take out the tea bags. Give this an extra stir to make sure the sugar is dissolved. Now all you have to do is add enough water to make a gallon out of this. And you can get a pretty pitcher and pour this in and add the water. I'm going to add it to this oh, half jug of spring water. Now what you don't want to do is put this hot tea in an empty jug, a plastic jug, because you don't want hot liquids like melting the plastic and getting in your tea. That's one of the reasons you let it cool if you're going to use any kind of plastic container. So there we go. And I had put a little bit of the spring water in here in case I needed more. Okay, just enough. Filled it up. So there's my jug of iced tea made really quick. 
And when we come back, I'll be pouring myself a nice tall glass with my homegrown lemon. Ooh, it smells so good. I've never had a fresher lemon, I can tell you that. A lemon picked just minutes before I used it. I'm excited. Mmm. Okay, I'll put one on the rim just to look fancy. And I'm going to cut a fat chunk. Take out the seeds. I might plant those seeds. Why not? Squeeze it in there. Yeah. I'm excited for my iced tea. With my own lemon. Cheers! That's good tea.